in order to create a 3D chord or an AutoCAD civil 3D, horizontal and vertical alignments and also typical cross section must be created first. Assuming that I have already created road geometry, this short video will explain how to create typical cross sections which are called assemblies and what components are they made of. I will tell you where are they stored and how they can be accessed, how to create basic assembly and how to modify existing. Assemblies are collection of individual sub-assembly components representing items such as medians, lanes, curbs, footpaths and embankments. The basic components of sub-assemblies are points, links and shapes and they each have assigned codes. When the corridor is built, the matching point codes from the sub-assemblies are connected from assembly to assembly, creating corridor feature lines such as a daylight line or curb line. Additionally, link codes can be assigned a render material for visualization purposes, a hatch pattern for shading in plan view, pay items for quantification, or can simply help to automate the labeling of section views. AutoCAD Civil 3D contains an extensive collection of sub-assemblies for a wide variety of road design applications, and we can access them conveniently through tool palettes. They are well organized into sections consisting of, for example, complete cross-sections described by regulations or single sub-assemblies grouped by type or use. The scope of their application ranges from simple marked points and generic links to very sophisticated super-elevated lane objects with axis of rotation options. Their geometry and behavior are controlled by input parameters which are well documented in AutoCAD CD 3D help file. Parameters vary depending on the intended function of the subassembly. Some parameters are static, while others are derived automatically from another objects within the drawing. For example, a lane width may be assigned to follow a varying width road edge instead of holding a fixed value while cut and fill links will target surface object. To create an assembly, I specify the baseline marker location, select the desired subassembly from the tool palette, adjust its predefined parameters if necessary, and attach it to the baseline marker. I'm repeating these steps, attaching another subassembly, thus building right hand side of my cross section. Provided my cross section is symmetrical, I can use mirror command from the contextual ribbon to finish creating this assembly. Effective use of points, link, and shape code styles can greatly improve the efficiency of documenting and displaying roadway designs throughout the, the entire project. By duplicating previously created assembly with regular AutoCAD commands, I'm converting a rural cross-section created before into an urban cross-section introducing curbs and footpaths. After removing unwanted sub-assemblies on both sides of the road, I'm using two pallets again to amend the cross-section to my requirements. Parameters specified at the time of insertion can be modified at any stage through subassembly properties. I can create custom collection of frequently used assemblies to speed up the process of constructing them in the future. Here we can see few examples of subassemblies and regulatory assemblies available out of the box.